Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me as I try to show off the best of modern retro gaming. Today we are coming with Cathedral, a fun Metroidvania game in which you are this little knight and you mysteriously got trapped in this castle and we are trying to figure our way out. And let's say, ah, there we made it up. That was actually not too hard. I actually really don't like that mechanic, uh, but uh, it does have its, um, I know what's the word I want to use for it, uses, I guess. Uh, if used sparingly, I think uh, it's not too bad. Oh, oh. Um, oh, I need to be over ouch there and I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Nope. I don't want to die Get up there. There we go. Can I? Can I? I wonder how I get Through I'm Well, I wouldn't know how to Do that either because it, there doesn't appear to be uh, another way. Oh, there might. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna have to go up and around It looks like to get under that other spot. That's what it is. The map makes it so much easier once you have the map um, To navigate the areas that you need to get through and explore um, I talked a, a little bit in the last couple episodes about the nostalgia factor in these games and I got to say that uh, There wasn't a lot of Metroidvania games that I played in my childhood um, That wasn't a term that was used a lot uh, Metroidvania was originally used when uh, I think about the time Symphony of the Night came around and that was used for the reasoning of these are now Castlevania games that are like Metroid and then it expanded from there. So, um, you know, Symphony of the Night was a late time, uh, you know, not really in uh, the time frame that I was growing up. So there was, um, you know, not that aspect of you know, nostalgia that would be a lot of in a lot of these games, but um, I did enjoy I didn't, even in Metroid. I didn't play a lot of Metroid uh, games. I played the uh, the original uh, Metroid game in um, on the NES and enjoyed that that. But other than that, there wasn't a lot that um, I dealt with Ooh, or played. Oh gosh, this is a tough area here. Um, let's get out of here. That was uh, rather difficult. Ooh, and there's a something in this room, a special. I've been here and I recall that I couldn't figure out how to get anywhere here. Let's see. If I had the other thing, I could open that, but I don't have him. Uh, you can either switch between the floaty down guy or the, um, the, the, where you could control him to come out and control him a little bit, but not both of them at the same time. And I'm wondering if I may have missed the uh, uh both of those you know the the combination of that because the first two in the skills is you know the individual uh abilities but then the next one is the combination and i have seemed to have been unable to pick up the combination skill yet so i don't know if it is in here the telepathy is what you need. Um, I don't know if it's in here or in some other area, or I could even get to him. Yeah, I can't get, now I can't use, oh, there's a ladder over there. Can I, 
I think I tried this experiment last episode, but I don't think I was able to get him up and around. I mean, he has to come up and around and to, mit, to hit that block, which is probably not going to be the case. I will probably need that soul fly again. I'm going to regret switching that, ain't I? And the heart will be the key item here uh, that that little dot shows. So yeah, Metroidvanias were not a big thing uh, when I was a child, uh, but uh, they are fun uh, in, um, I'd say in small doses, I do enjoy them, but they can be a little bit of frustrating as well because you have, uh, if not done well, like the original Metroid was um, done kind of poorly because of, uh, you know, there was no hints or tips or tricks into how to uh, do or locate or find the different areas, but games have came a lot since then. And I do think that this one is much, much better than the original uh, Metroid games in that aspect of, uh, you know, having or not having, you know, the clues to, why am I not, why is the camera not going up? Please camera, help me out here. Um, having the clues to get where you need to go. And that is one of the, ouch. You've got to be real. That will throw you up really quickly if you're not on that. And I am not going to make it through this area. Back through here is not going to be easy. But like this game is much better in that aspect of showing you. Ooh, there we go. That's exactly what I needed right there. Uh, showing you where you need to go and what you need to do and um, giving you little hints along the way and most Metro Metroidvanias are good about that anymore um, one of the big things that you need that uh, are not present in earlier Metroidvanias are how do I get back oh do I have to go I guess I have to go there has to be a way. Wait a minute. Am I missing something here? Do I have to go back into, I bet you have to go back into one of those void things. That's going to be annoying. Oh man. Um, it's about avoiding these guys and the spikes as much as possible. Um, uh, one of the key elements in uh, Metrovania is the ability to uh, go into a uh, an easy way to get around. Uh, once you explore a lot of the area, you need to be able to, um, you know, come back around and have an easy way to. Um, jump back and forth between different areas and this game does that well with the um the teleporting system that they have i wonder what else is in this area let's see if there's i think i've done this all oh no there's something up there i think we got to be careful Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe there's something over here. We could always find out. Nope. Maybe a crystal or something, but there seems... I'm curious. I feel that there's something else up there, too. These... No. Yeah. These void areas are really odd in trying to figure out where these go and how you get to one and how they connect is going to be a big part of this game i i feel okay this will allow me to come like there's a room right here that i can't get to any other way i mean they usually they show where rooms connect 
with that grayed out area, but there's no way to get to that room or that room. Uh, so that's kind of interesting, and I'm sure that's going to be a lot of the uh, dealing with the void. Trying to figure out how I can make it back into where I want to be. I think that's where I got one of the armor things. Um, ouch. No. No meanies. Stop it. Um, not sure if I need that. Where's the other one? There was one down there, but I think... I'm trying to figure out where I am and what's in this room, and I don't want to do a bunch of running around, but... No, the heart container's over there. Okay. I'm going the right, the correct way I want to go. I'm not sure if it's the complete right way, but... Yeah, here we go. The way that I need to go. I'm gonna get to figure out... I guess we go back up and try to figure out what's up, up there. This guy really takes you up quickly, so you got to be careful about using that floaty guy there. Um, and we need to... Although my favorite weapon so far is the gun. Very, very useful. Wait a minute. I ran into another stopping point. Now, well, how in the world do I get where I need to get um because I'm definitely not seeing it here that's again one of the things metrovenias are a lot of fun but sometimes it's a little tedious trying to figure out where you need to go and finding the correct path I feel that I, I've been over here but I can't I don't think I can fall far enough to get, yeah, that, that door there. I get fall about halfway, but that's it. And knock to the door, I don't think. That's a hard one to go down and... I know I've been here. Yeah, this is blocked off right here, which is... Unfortunately, where and I can't shoot down with the gun. There is no cannons, so that's not helpful. Um, trying to think of like how I would go about doing that, but I really don't. Ah, spikes. Uh, yeah. Gosh, these spikes are everywhere in the the per exact wrong spot I need them to be. Okay. There's definitely something I'm missing here and probably one of these void doors that I can get to down here. If you can, stay low and then come up. Oh, oh nope, nope. I did not do that as well as I would have hoped. There are two... Th There's definitely several doors open. And I, I feel that that's probably where I need to go. In terms of... Trying to find my way out. I do not like this mechanic. I do not like this. <laughs> I do not like this, Sam. I am. I do not like this. It's actually kind of tricky. And something that I have mentioned before playing this game is I feel that the uh, levels are much more of a um, difficulty than the creatures. I feel the creatures are are difficult, kind of hard uh, sometimes, but definitely not 
uh, in the same level or same plane as the... I feel we get teleported in there somehow and then because... Um, where does this gate take me? Here's another one that I couldn't figure. This is one I, oh, you know what? Oh, that was so silly of me. I should have figured that out with those two dragons there. Okay, now that will take me somewhere else. That's going to be extremely, ah, that's where I need to be. So I need to, there we go. But that may be all because I can't knock that one down. Well, that opened that up which is going to be a huge deal. Yeah, but I gotta go all the way back. That's not the fun part. In getting our way back to the way we came. And I have to actually go, I believe down into this door to get up and around. to get back because I don't think there is a way back the other way. I do not need to be in there. I really find the harpies annoying. Ugh. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh yeah, that is what I wanted to do. Good. I was like, ah! And, uh, nope. Probably the one ability that I've used the most here is that bone platform. has definitely been probably the most helpful um, ability in this whole game. Just let her hit me, I guess. I don't know other way around her. You gotta do the skulls again. Yay! Oh shoot, that's not gonna work. I hope that skull comes back in time. It does also give you a lot of uh, ways to get around this. Uh, the double jump and that zip makes it a lot easier to do a lot of this stuff. Oh, okay, well, let's grab this. Should I, you know what, I think, wonder if, There we go. We got through it. That's nice. And we got another songbook. Awesome. That'll get us a bunch of more money. Ew, and an item. Was that the gun? Sweet. I love that flintlock. Flintlock is definitely my favorite ability. The most useful probably has been the platform, but the flintlock is probably my favorite. Okay, so we open another void door. And that's again going to take us probably somewhere else, but I'm not sure that's where I want to be right now. Okay, that's probably where I would have. Yeah, that's yeah, that is kind of where I wanted to be. Um, hmm. Get the treasure, but you gotta be careful with the treasure because we don't want to. I would really like to get that heart, but I don't think I have time to get the heart. Ugh. Ouch. Come on, bounce on her head. Um, let's go ahead and take that one out and do a little floaty platform and see if I can get over there in time. Uh, can I? Yeah. Uh, get in, 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 die, 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 die. Ah, oh, that was close. See, it takes me really quick up there. And I think oh, this is the best way to do that. There we go. Oh. I bet you anything that statue's gonna come alive. 
Oh no, it didn't. I was expecting it to. I was so expecting it to. Up or actually up has... I like to go like to dead ends. So like this area, there was an up and it was closed off. Well, I thought it was, but maybe not. Ooh, ooh, no. There is an item here too in this room, which is going to be useful. Well, where is it now? There's a couple of gems, but no items. Oh, is it maybe a lot of gems? of these oh it drives me nuts when they do this. <laughs> I'm like there's something in this area somewhere somehow I wonder if one of these is like just a, a false block hmm well I don't know Ah, uh, there's something. I was gonna say there's something there because of the the shadow difference. There was a difference in the shadow there. Am I gonna have to do another shot or something? I ran out of that. There is something up there and I don't know how to get it. I bet you there's another block up there and I have to figure out how to shoot it. But first of all, I have to get some more flintlocks. I like to go down slowly. I like to be able to hit the levels and see instead of just drop suddenly all the way to the bottom. I want to hit the platform Ooh, that's so close that was close to my head did not enjoy that closeness ah! oh sh grab that one save go into this room down here and we got Arby. yay that's always what i want a nice harpy a lot of statues which one of these are not like the other one? That seems like a very odd room. Oh, there might be something above me then. Did I see how that room is all emptied? Or the, the roof is only half of it. I probably should go ahead and fill up my health. wonder if I doubt you it'll last this long but that's way to do it I'm not sure what's over here but let's see oh that's how you do it Oh, that's not good. I don't like that. Oh, and I need the little... Oh, is it... There's the... Oh, there's the soul fly. Yeah, there we go. So now we have... Could switch over to both of them. I was so worried there for a second that... Or for a little bit that I did not have the ability to do both of them. Or like I missed it where I could do both of them. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Like I missed the power up that does that. Okay, so we got that. And actually going back is going to be much, much easier. All I'll have to do is fall down there. Oh no, run, run. I'm leaving. <laughs> you know, you guys go fight yourselves. I'm out of there. Okay, I got my flintlock back. So I would like to get back up. That's not what I wanted. Ouch. 
I was hoping that I can avoid getting hit, but I'm gonna have to jump. Ah, there that was. I got hit once. Um, this spot right here. Oh dear. There seems to be. Oh gosh, now these guys are coming back to life. Oh, he's kind of tricky. Oh, and tough. He knows my downward attack. Oh, he's not having that. Oh, I got him that time. Oh, that was helpful. I'll just stand on your platform here, buddy. How's that? This guy is strong. I don't know if your downward attack, I think it has the same attack as, there we go, as everything else. Right. So let's, I don't think that did it. I don't think that's gonna let me. I want, there we go. That may be open to now. Oh, get up there. Nope. Really? Huh? Oh, there you go. But now how am I going? Ah, there we go. Sweet. Okay. Tricky, tricky. Another good thing that this game does is just what it showed you there. Showing that there is an item available. You know what? I'm going to run down here really quickly an item available uh, that, you know, is in that room. And that's a huge deal in trying to figure out some of this stuff. Um, wait, can I lighten these? I can't seem to light. I really want to go back to... There's something here in this room. And I got to figure... It out and the light doesn't seem to do anything. These two are different than those two. That's something. If I could, come on. Where are you and how are you different? Maybe, no. I really don't know on this one. This one seems to be a little bit trickier. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go. I don't see anything that makes me think something is different or something is unusual or I mean there is something obviously in this room but to figure out what and where it is might be oh there I found it I might yep there we go sweet that wasn't too hard I just got to randomly swing and hit things that was probably the one of the more difficult ones but again, it showed me that there was something there and that makes a large difference in being able to, you know, deal with that. Instead of doing that in every room, I know I have to do that in these certain rooms. Uh, and that makes it a big difference. Okay. Yeah, money, and I know that there is is it 5,000 or 4,000? I don't recall now. I'm going to have to... And I might run back to the city to... Uh... Can I go up? Is there anything up higher? No. Uh, to go up to the city to... Um... Reset these this money or go back home but I don't know how to get that open but I did open 
another void area, which is good. Oh, which might... Another void. Oh, no, no. Oh, that's very smart. Not very smart. Jumping on the spikes. Probably not a good idea. I wonder if these things uh, only do a damage. I was hoping that, like, it would do a lot of damage or something. We have just clo close to all the power ups here. Uh, if we look, I mean, this whole area is line, and then we got a few more power-ups down here it looks like that we can pick up but it looks like we're doing rather well in this okay. don't know where this is gonna take me I'm scared okay well let's grab that for sure hmm well, I know my something different on this end or not I know that Okay, there's something. Ah! Now I'm gonna have to be able to do the same. Oh! Yeah, duh. Once I do that, I should be able to walk around on this one. There we go. It's this uh, weird, like, being able to revolve the wall, the world around, which is a little weird. Actually, this is very close to the beginning, I think. Let's take this. Oh. That might. I feel that that's like. Yeah, that's the beginning. I thought I was thinking it did. So I think that is going to be a good episode. I am actually going to run back and get this money another thing that's this this area is doing really well i gotta say is giving me those health places um to you know be able to go and heal up a little bit in these random areas is very 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 helpful although this is going to take me a while yeah i'm going to run back to the i'm going to end the in the episode here and i'm going to run back to the city and put this money away and i see you guys in the next episode thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye everybody